Hi, it's Emma Nargo. So I'm going to do a contour, highlight and blush tutorial today. So I'm just going to come in close so you can see the final result. So I show you guys how I contour, highlight and apply blush in my tutorials, but I don't really go into detail with it. So I thought I would go into detail with it in this tutorial today. So I can kind of show you and explain to you how I contour and highlight and apply blush, of course. So I try to keep it really simple and really easy. So I really hope this helps you guys if you are in doubt of how to contour, highlight or apply blush. So yeah, anyways, this is what we're doing today. So I hope you guys like it and here comes the tutorial. Okay, you guys, so to get started, I'm already wearing a little bit of makeup. So on my lips, I'm just wearing my 66 lip palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm just wearing a tiny bit of this color up here. So that's what's on my lips, but just a little bit. And then on top of that lip color, I'm wearing this lip gloss. So you guys know that I showed you... Where is it? In my last Get Ready With Me, I showed you guys this um, blue lip gloss from the company called Cool Cos, which is a uh, Danish brand. So this is from the same brand. This is just in the color Vanilla. And my boyfriend actually got me this... That is so sweet of him. He also got me the nail polish that I'm wearing. Unfortunately, it chipped a little bit because I didn't apply a top coat. And I've been doing a lot with my nails yesterday and today. So, yeah. But it's such a pretty color and the formula is great. And, yeah, that was so nice of him. So, yeah, that's just what's on my lips. And on my eyes, I'm just wearing one coat of my YSL... Um, waterproof mascara and on my face prior to contouring and highlighting and applying blush I'm already wearing my base so I'm wearing my Catrice um, Prime and Fine Illuminating Base um, you guys know that this is my favorite primer and unfortunately it has been discontinued but you could use any primer or you could skip applying primer then on top of that for my foundation I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte in the color ivory and I just applied that all over and down my neck and onto my ears and then I applied a second coat on top of my cheeks where I have my acne scarring and then underneath my eyes as a concealer I used my BB cream from um, Born Pretty Store in the color 01 and then finally I set uh, my base with this powder also from Born Pretty Store this is also in the color 01 and that is all that's on my face so um, it's up to you how much you want to wear before you start contouring. You could go kind of all out like I did with a primer, a foundation, a concealer and a powder. Or you could just use like the powder or you could just use the foundation or you, you could use concealer and powder or you know you can, mi mix, bleh, you can mix and match to find out what's best for you. But once you have your base done you can go in and start contouring. And I would um, suggest that you contour first. Because contouring is the darkest out of um, the contour, the blush and the highlight. So um, if you apply contour last, it can kind of um, cover up your blush and your highlight. So I would just recommend doing it as the first step. So I'm going to use this little thing, which is ELF's um, Studio Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. And this comes in different um, shades. I have the color Saint Lucia. But I believe this comes in three or four shades. But you basically want to use any matte powder that is um, a little bit darker than your skin tone and as you can see this is quite a lot darker than my skin tone but this is a little bit sheer and you can really tone it out so um, this works great but you just want to use any matte powder that is a few shades dar darker than your skin tone so for contouring your face you could use a specific contour brush um, you can get that from different makeup brands I'm going to use my e.l.f. angled blush brush and any kind of medium sized blush brush will do. I don't want to go in with something too thin because that will look make it look too intense but I don't want to use something too big like a powder brush either because that will not give you enough definition. But I'm just going to pick up some of this, this contour and then I'm going to tap off the excess and then we are going to contour around the perimeter of our faces and we are also going to contour the cheekbones. So let's start with the cheekbones. So the way you find your cheekbones is that you can actually feel it. So I can feel my cheekbone right here. And you basically just want to go right underneath it. But if you aren't really sure where your cheekbone is or where to place your contour, it's always a great idea to go from like the top of your ear 
and down towards your um, the corner of your lips and that will give you a guideline but remember to not come um, all the way down to the corner you want to stop like right around here another thing you could do is do the fish face and then you can see where your cheekbones are and where the hollows of your cheeks are and where to contour but for me personally I like um, to scoop my lips to one side better so when I contour this side of my face I scoop to this side so I go like this and in that way um, the skin gets kind of stretched out over my skull and in that way I can better see like my own bone structure and then I can see kind of how to go with my contour but yeah if you're not sure where to go with your contour just go for the from the top of your ear and down towards the corner of your lips so I'm going to go in and I like to use small circular motions and as you can see even though this elf contour powder looks really dark in the pan you can see it goes on a lot more sheer and natural and when I blend I blend upwards to kind of lift the face and when you're just starting out with contour just keep it simple and don't apply too much because it can easily look really unnatural but there you can see one contoured cheek so I'm just going to do exactly the same to the other cheek and as you can see I only take it about right here and blend upwards and that's basically how you do it and now we are going to contour the rest of the perimeter of the face. So you want to pick up some more contour powder, tap off the brush, and now we are going to contour around the hairline. So I go from the temple in one side, and I go all the way across to the other temple. Um, the only place where I don't go with my contour is right here, on the very top of my cheekbone, because I want that to stand out. And again, I just use small circular motions. And I always make sure that I go into my hairline with my contour because in that way it looks a lot more natural and you won't get that kind of mask effect. And I always start with one half of my face and then I do the other. Then I pick up some more contour powder, tap off the excess and I do the other side. And again I just use small circular motions. And that's basically my forehead contoured and this um, contouring your forehead this is great if you have a big forehead but even if you don't um, it will still bring the whole look together and really make your face look nice and defined but anyways we are going to pick up some more of the contour powder tab off and now we are going to contour the lower part of um, our face so I like to go from the bottom of my ear and all the way around to the other ear and again I go in small circular motions and when I contour around the bottom half of my face I really make sure that I do it very lightly because if you apply too much it can kind of look like a beard so you want to be careful and when you're contouring it's a good idea to just have your face in kind of a neutral position where you're just looking straight ahead um, because in that way you won't like pull or um, you know kind of stretch your skin out um, because if you do that then your contour can end up like in a strange place like it can end up either too high or too low so if you just look straight ahead and just contour while you have your face kind of relaxed um, it will give you the most natural contour and then I always like to bring down the contour onto my neck just um, to make sure that everything kind of matches and flows together and contouring your jaw just makes you instantly look thinner and again it pulls the whole look together and defines your face beautifully so that's basically it for contouring um, like the perimeter of your face plus your cheekbones so now you can go in and contour um, like your nose your eyes and your lips and of course it's optional where you want to contour 
Some people just can't show their cheekbones, some people can't show their nose. Like some people just can't show one thing and not the other and that's perfectly fine. You can contour as much as or, or as little as you want, it's totally up to you. But um, for contouring like smaller places of your face, like your eyes and your nose, um, I always like to use a smaller brush because I think with the big blush brushes, they're just like too big, you know. So you can either use a fluffy eyeshadow brush or you can use a fan brush like this one from e.l.f. I like to use the fan brush because it's skinny but it's also long. So um, I can get my nose contoured really quickly and also my eyes. Because it just kind of fits perfectly in the contours of my nose and eyes, you see? So we are going to pick up some more contour powder. Tap off the excess. And then to contour your nose, you just want to go down each side of the nose. So I just go in light uh, and quick strokes, like this, and I also go right below my nose. And that's it. Like, that's how quick it is to contour your nose. So now I'm going to contour my eyes. So I pick up some more contour powder, tap off my brush. And of course, if you're wearing eyeshadow, you don't want to contour your eye. You don't want to contour your eyes. But for me today, I'm not wearing any eyeshadows. So just to um, naturally define my eyes, I can go into the hollow of my eye right here, also known as the crease. And when you contour your eyes, you just want to go back and forth like this. And it's really pretty and looks really nice if you con um, connect the contour on your eyes with the contour on your nose. And of course, I do the same thing on the other eye. So one last place on your face you can also contour is your lip, actually. So if you want your lips to look a little bit bigger, um, you can contour right below the lip. As you can probably see, um, I have like a little shadow underneath my lip. Because the lip do pop out, um, you know what I'm saying? So it just casts a natural shadow right below it. So if you intensify this shadow a little bit, then it will make your lips look bigger. So you want to take your fan brush again with a little bit of um, contour powder on it. And you just want to go kind of in a half moon shape right below your lip around your chin like this. And this will just really naturally enhance your lips and make them look a little bit more pouty. And again, it's really important that you do not apply too much because then it can look like a beard. But that's actually all for contouring the face. Of course, you can go in with your powder brush if you feel like um, any of your contours were a little bit too strong. You can just go in like this and lightly buff them all out. But other than that, that's all for the contour. So now for highlighting, I'm going to take my Too Faced um, The Secret to Ma No Makeup Makeup Palette. And I'm going to take kind of the bronzer slash highlighter that's in here. And if you do not have like a specific face highlighter, you could also use um, just a shimmery eyeshadow. So for applying your highlight, you could either use your fingers if you want kind of a more intense highlight. Or you could use just kind of a blush brush. Um, that will give you like a medium highlight or if you want a lighter highlight you can use something like a fan brush which is what I'm going to use I'm using this one from Born Pretty Store so I'm just going to pick a little bit of this up and tap off the excess and this is going right on my cheekbones to make them pop even more so now instead of going underneath your cheekbone you want to go right on top so right up here and I'm just going to apply my highlight like this so hopefully you can see the glow that that gives and if you want to you can kind of take it up onto your brow bone as well so kind of in a C shape and that's what that looks like and I of course go in and do the same on the other side so just apply a little bit on the cheekbone and then bring it up in the C shape to the brow bone now if you want to you can highlight um, the T zone which is right here so your chin your cupid's bow your nose and your forehead Personally, I have oily skin, so I don't really highlight my T-zone that often. Sometimes I highlight my nose because it will make your nose look um, 
slimmer and straighter so I can show you that you just go right down the bridge of your nose like right down the center you could also just go right in the middle of your forehead but my forehead gets so oily so I'm not going to do that and you could also go on your chin just right in the center but again my chin gets super oily so I'm not going to and then the last place you can go with your highlight is right above your lips and again this is to make them look bigger and I'm going to do that so right here And as with the contour, you can always go in with your brush, um, your powder brush, and just slightly blend out your highlight. So that's all for contouring and highlight. So now the only thing left to do is to apply blush. So I'm going to use my favorite blush today, which is NARS um, Deep Throat Blush. It looks like this. So it's kind of a pinky, shimmery color. And you can just use any blush brush for this. I'm using my e.l.f. Studio Blush Brush. So I'm going to go in and pick up some of that color tap off the excess and now I'm going to apply the blush right between kind of the contour and the highlight so right in this area but I always like to start right here on the apple and then blend it backwards and I also always like to kind of bring my blush upwards because it lifts the face but yeah as I said I start on the apple so to find your apples just smile and where your cheeks get round that's your apples so I just like to start on kind of the outer part of my apples so just right here and you can see that's a really pretty color and then I just blend it backwards and upwards and I also blend it a little more in on my um, on the apple of my cheek and I blend it a little bit down and a little bit up and that's basically it so I'm just going to show you on the other cheek as well so pick up some of your br um, blush Tap off the excess, smile and pop this on right on the outer part of the apple and then blend it upwards and backwards. And then once you have that placed, you can kind of just go in and up and down. Just so you have like a nice color all over your cheek. And that ladies and gentlemen, that's actually all for the contour highlight and blush tutorial. So that's all for this contour highlight and blush tutorial. So I really hope this was helpful. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And other than that, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. So take care and bye bye.